and with cataracts being the leading cause of blindness. And everybody says, well, it's just a disease of being old. Well, guess what? Look at some of these statistics. Look how the prevalence of cataracts is increasing. 129% from 1990 to 2019. So in about 30 years. And in China, the increase was even as high as 223%. This is not an increase in elderly people. This is a change in our diets. And, you know, the, um, the, the increase in cataracts cannot be attributed just to the general trend of getting old. Periodontal disease is a big one. So 47% of U.S. adults in the United States have periodontal disease. And periodontal disease is gum disease where the bone that holds your teeth in is being eaten away. So it's a chronic disease that is like... For, I mean, it's pretty like when you put it like that, people are a little startled. They're like, oh, bacteria are eating away at the bone that are holding my teeth in. And nearly 50% of people and adults in the United States have it. And there is a mountain of research that connects periodontal disease with almost every single chronic disease you can think of. And so much so, this, the associations are so strong that people would thought that the per, per, periodontal disease was causing these other diseases. Now, I think it might play a role in exacerbating some of these things. I just think they're more likely that we have a common root cause uh, of mo- mainly like a poor diet that is both leading to periodontal disease and this, you know, myriad of other chronic diseases. So, and we can get into here, the key for root cause preve- prevention really ultimately comes down to limiting the carbs, limiting the refined grains and sugars, and the dang, nasty, toxic, poisonous seed oils, which are, you know, have such a long half-life that you, uh, you know, eat a French fry today, uh, it'll still be there four years, you know, it's, it's that, that serious and it's just a very slow suicide. And yeah, so I I think a lot of similarities here with the eyes and the teeth is a lot of people think it's just genetics, right? And they just pawn everything off to ge- genetics. Like I got crooked teeth, it's genetics. I got sleep apnea, it's genetics. I got cavities, it's genetics. I get it passed on from my parents. G- genetics play a role in everything, obviously. Epigenetics play a significant role in things as well. Um, but here, so the first kind of picture at the top left is a skeleton. It's, it's a good example. It's an older skeleton, no cavities, all 32 teeth fit in. They came in straight, no, one, no abscesses, no impactions. Uh, And this was the norm prior to the agricultural revolution. The bottom middle one is from Dr. Weston A. Price, who are people not familiar with. He was a dentist in the earlier 20th century, traveled the world at a unique time in history where we had airplanes, we had the photography, and we had the intersection of traditional indigenous diets and the modernization of diets, notably lots of refined grains and sugars. And so he traveled the world and he basically studied populations right next to each other. One population eating their traditional diet, another population with modern food. Those people that were eating mostly their traditional diet, they overall had healthy mouths and healthy bodies. And when the displacing foods of modern commerce uh, came in, uh, they rapidly got cavities. The first generation got cavities right away. Second generation not only got cavities, but they also developed malocclusion. Uh, So, I mean, the theory of like... It's just genetics. Uh, Dr. Weston Price did a lot to kind of disprove that theory all by himself. It goes 